and uh, like the idea of a you know a suppressed or downtrodden downtrodden culture you know serfdom in Europe say and with the monarchs and and um, all the uh, people you know in poverty etc struggling and here comes America the savior you know in democracy and they, it looks real good doesn't it you know that we're coming out of this stone age this this era of 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 slavery and, and here comes somebody to the rescue democracy sounds really good but if you really look at it we're even more enslaved than we were before because around this democracy is all this technology which is basically surveillance the more technology the more surveillance and control they have through the chips through tattoos through cameras through uh, vaccines and all the all the the ways they're watching us and monitoring us through our computers, et cetera, our cell phones. So democracy looks good and all this, you know, freedom, but actually in the meantime, they're even more enslaving, enslaving us. We are on a human farming planet here. So it's, it's not what it seems. And that's why the comparisons are so important here too. But um, I'll go ahead and, Keep reading here. The idea of the dream arena is to first study it on every level, then take an active part. Life is about becoming more aware. This is real. And so an awakening is continually happening with the true reality in its own endlessness. It uses real sound to communicate with all of what it is which is every U-tune, which is part of the endless of liveness it is. When the reality of one becomes so, the real you, it then starts to process of its own journey from the furthest point or decided position of the true reality. The new, which is te- termed in the literal sense as soul, and as the religious orders refer to it, must be put through various cycles of experiences to wake up to life. But this is just the start. The new goes through all the stages of embodiments we experience here, such as microscopic things, germs, plants, and then eventually more capable forms, such as animals, fish, and birds, and then eventually the human person. Of course, the narrow view and experiences the scientific and religious systems have from their own short-sightedness and creative distortions will surely disagree or not believe this is to be so. But the fun part is anyone can prove it to themselves. Reality is all about your real awareness and becoming more aware. So eventually, as one gets the real connection to the sound-light reality, the real guides begin the real journey of each U-tune beyond what they can ever imagine in a physical body. If that isn't exciting, this is using using your imagination to the fullest, and and this can be really your dream come true. Just keep on with the new you. Yeah, we were talking the other the other week about Lila about becoming more aware and and using the imagination and also the idea of assuming, assuming it's so, like if we want to be on the seventh level, say, assume we're there, and that brings everything closer in. Otherwise, you're chasing, you're chasing things, you're chasing some idea out there, out there that's projected away from you. But if you assume it's already done, it brings it closer to your real you and who you are, and you don't have to go outside yourself for anything, really. And if you assume it's it, it to be so, it will be so, because that's the nature of, um, you know, it includes creation plus, plus some. If it's your true intent that you, you know, you're 
so-called after or your your true intent basically is your real awareness if you if you center on that then you're not you're not projecting out from anywhere and, and searching which is okay that's like astral projection or or when you have a real side experience you're basically like viewing something you know as a demonstration for yourself but the real you is always here and now so if you assume use the idea of assuming something and Paul Paul work with this too assuming it already finished whatever you want then it's a matter of uh, you know how you're going to relate to that because usually we we relate to things as like a, a desire. We want to, we want it, you know, which is like pushing it more away. But if we assume we already have it, then okay, what does that mean? How, how are you going to relate to that idea that you already have it? Well, you just become it. You, you, how does it feel? You know, Paul used the idea of like, how does it feel if you were that or. What, how would people see you as that, or how would um, you see yourself as that? You know, whatever it is you want to um, have. So, in other words, keep it keep it close. Don't don't project away because that'll just push it away in a way, which is okay because that's okay too. Because you again, it's a comparison you're doing there, but but. Eventually, it's going to be here and now. Everything is here and now. You don't have to travel anywhere or go anywhere. It's everything is here and now. Uh, well, that that is really a fabulous statement there. Assume that it's really so. Um, Paul said something about uh, if you want something like you had a camera, and you took the picture of the tree, and that would be your your want that you want that picture of that tree, and then you take the picture, and then you and then you just assume, you know, that that you're going to get the picture of the tree. You wouldn't get a picture of a house. You're going to get a picture of the tree, mm-hmm. and that's what you've done. So this is an exciting and very a very important uh, lesson that you should you should consider what you put out there is going to be is yours and you claim it can you add something to that well just again i remember Dwayne saying you dream your way to the is so again uh you can use imagination too but dream your way to the is from the position of assuming that you're already there so dream your way from that assumption that brings it again closer to to you and to your arena of, of, of like where you're working from. You dream, use your dream, you know, your sense of, uh, you know, you can use your, your imagination and to, intuition and insight, but um, to me it just means like, uh, it's it, it's more like, Okay, I've assumed I'm there, but then from that, uh, the the dream part is a comparison to show me that I am there in a way. It, get, it gives me confirmation that I am there. The dream part. I may I may project a little bit from it, but then back, if I compare it to what my initial intent was, then it confirms it. It confirms the intent. If that makes any sense, but, but, you know. Now, what do you mean by uh, you? You uh, assu- yes, I get that you assume it so that it's so. But what is it that you compare? My dream of it, my dream or imagination of it. Oh, what, your what, imagination. Or yeah, yeah. What I dream, what I imagine it to be. And so you kind of live your imagination. You live. Yeah. Your, you live what you're what you want in other what you're trying to say is you live what you want yes but it never is what my imagine it's always better <laughs> i mean that's a given it's a that's, given it's yeah. never what you think it is or even imagine it but, yeah. but at least it's a it's a 
start. It's something yeah. that you're actively participating in this recognition. You're you're being creative and somehow uh, moving forward with it to 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 more more and more recognition. It's ongoing, but you need to do something. You can't just like meditate and be duh. You can, but it's it's an active process that you're going through because the is is always new now so in a way you have to keep up with it it's always like uh, new now so you are us you are part of it so you're always new now too so it's a it's a it's an ongoing yeah you assume you're there but it's an ongoing dynamic process where you're always new now you're always like um contributing to this to this awareness in your own way. Do uh, you have anything, Tim, for this too? Sure. Yeah, I'm trying to com- um, see a connection between the um, assuming, imagining, and and the studying. Because um, Dwayne's stating that we should study every level now um what i'm gathering is that if we assume we're in the um mental realm um and how it is there is that like imagining and and actually how do we study every level well you 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 assume you're there and you look around you like when he talked about writing your book, he said, get in the scene and what do you see in the scene? Say you're in the kitchen, what do you see around yourself? You see the, the faucet, the kitchen table, maybe the refrigerator and some food. So you, you, you put yourself in this position or the scene and then look around yourself and then just go from there, use that as a comparison or use that as a, a means of like uh of again, yeah, comparison I'd say the best way I can describe it. Because it it gives you something to bounce off of. Otherwise it's just blackness or darkness. There's nothing to um you know, to you're you're just you're just uh you have no no point of reference, but this way it gives you points of reference references and then then use your consideration and, and just, you know, your intu- intuition for the recognition of where, where you put yourself. Because there's always, wherever you put yourself, there's, there's always more. There's a recognition to be had wherever you put yourself. If, you, if it's mental plane or wherever, um, life will show you stuff if you allow it to. It's, it's very interesting. It's a process. But you have to participate in it in your own way. You know, you have to find your own way. But, yeah, imagination, insight, intuition, those are key. So whatever those mean to you, um, whatever it means to you to um, assume a position, you know, just, just be there and then just look around yourself. What do you see? If you have the right, if you have the intent to become more aware, it'll it'll work for you. It sure seems like a um, quite an experience in these huge realms to be studying them. I guess, like in the new books, how Dwayne's saying, well, in this astral realm, in these different levels of it, or places in it that. I'm going to uh, assume that the the um, one of the gods of man, Jehovah by one name, is there um, in whatever form I guess that life would reveal him. But it just seems so big. Each level sounds like um, I guess what is the study. It just seems like if I'm there, assume I'm there, and here's this 
brother of the Callum God, Grog, Jehovah by one name, and and his astral heaven and the and the um, the lower realms of it, the astral hell, or it, it just seems like each plane. There's so much that's unknown to to find out about if that's study. Yeah, that's a, a random, if you're just random, you know, you just like, oh, yeah, there's so much out there, and it's true, there's so much, but that's why you just w let life come to you, and it'll show you what to look at. Uh, you don't have to go looking for it. it. It'll show you, if you allow it to, what to focus on. You'd be, it's surprising how, how it, it knows what you need to wake up the next step to wake up. So you don't really have to go searching. Like I used to be a truth seeker type person, you know, that that's, that's all over with. I don't need that because then you do get lost in so much wisdoms and truths and gurus and who's teaching what. There, there's so much out there, especially the psychic arts. But if you let life come to you, uh, it'll it'll be appropriate for where you what you need to to look at and and recognize at the moment